So we're back once again. Let's start digging into it. So it's time to start stripping it apart. You guys obviously thought I was done there. I am not done there. This whole front end is coming off and I cannot wait, cannot wait to show you guys what we're doing. This is going to be something very, very different and definitely something I haven't seen before in Australia. So hopefully this is another Ranger Raptor first. All right, so first up off the rank, we're gonna go grill and the splash guard on top and then headlights out. Get rid of all the plastic bits and pieces, and then we're gonna start working our way around the car, taking all the panels off. I'm gonna leave the bonnet till last, purely because I can't store it inside here, so I have to store it outside. So in case it rains, do the bonnet last, and I don't have water and leaves and stuff collecting in the top of the engine bay. So let's get to it, eh? Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. So I'm just starting to free this guard up. This piece is actually trapped in behind the flare. So I've decided it's probably gonna be easier to try and pull the whole thing off as one piece. So now I'm just working my way around it, taking all the bolts out. There's a couple left in the door gap, but I just keep working at it slowly. It's just a fiddly process. I'm just trying to be gentle because all these are getting reused on another really cool project that's coming up soon that I can't wait to show you guys. Oh no, he took my eyes. One headlight out. This thing is like doing a big puzzle. There's so many different little bolts and trim clips. We're gonna have fun putting this back together, don't you worry. So, last bolt on this side is one in the store jam, and then I'm 99% sure that's all nearly there. That's one guard off, and then it's gone to the other side. We're one guard free. So, We've done it. We have got the guards off and holy crap. She's a wide boy. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> Imagine if you drove like that all the time. Like this is a normal width Ranger. it will be in line with that door panel. Look how much poke is on that thing, man. This is so sick. I am so over the moon. I'm so happy to finally be doing this build. This is everything that I wanted to do to the last one, but never had the guts nor the finances to do. And now here we are. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Stop poking. <laughs> that might help. Yeah, yours out. All right, cool. Ooh. No longer plugged in. That was Casper. I could have My big brother calls me ruckus. So this is the first of many packages of my very big little surprise. So I have been waiting four months for this. This has cost me six and a half thousand dollars and I cannot wait to unbox it. I'm praying to God it fits. <laughs> so there, there is no guarantees with this. There is no instructions with this. We are just going to dig into it and hopefully we figure it out as we go. I asked for instructions and there is none. So once again, this is actually designed for a Ranger. It has never been fitted to a Raptor. So once again, really hope it fits. Storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left Why are we always trying to take each other out? Oh, what you Oh, well, you're not a bird, eh? Here's my dirty little secret. We got a new bonnet. I wonder what it's going to do. I know, but you don't. Oh no, I don't, because I don't know if it's going to fit, but we're going to find out. So, it's now the better part of two months later. I've been tossing and turning and trying to figure out how to word this, because this is where everything went south. Um, we got the car completely stripped, got ready to start fitting the uh, new front end, and we very quickly noticed something was wrong. Um, the bonnet was damaged in shipping and it was bent. I'm not going to name names here because I want to tread lightly around the situation, but the company that I purchased the kit off sent me a bonnet that got damaged in transit and then refused to take responsibility for it and barely even helped me out. Like I would never ever 
recommend anyone go through this company again. Like, it was a horrible experience, and it was waiting days for replies. Um, I'd just get left on red, um, wouldn't give me a phone number, nothing. It was just, it was an absolute headache and a half. And it was incredibly stressful because I just paid a massive amount of money for this kit. And then for it to rock up and be damaged, it completely blew me away. Um, needless to say, it ended up getting finished. The painter from uh, Alien from Sprayed Industries in Bathurst, absolutely fantastic. He painted the kit, um, fixed all the damage, and now you could never tell. But yeah, it was just... It was a really, really stressful experience. You'll be able to watch in this how my face dropped. So, enjoy. I guess part of shipping things international is occasionally things get damaged in transit. You've just unboxed the box and the front end of the bonnet is caved in. It's enough to write that bonnet off. Now let's uh, bolt it all up. So we um, have some bad news. We got a little bit carried away. Let me show you. So this is a Ford F-150 Gen 2 Raptor conversion kit for the Ford Ranger. Yes, Ford Ranger, not for the Raptor. As far as I know, this is the first genuine Raptor, and definitely in Australia, converted to this kit. And it is sick. I'm over the moon. Like, I didn't think it was going to come out this good. There is still lots to do, but Nick and I just sort of rushed into it and just started smashing it out because we finished work early. And my lord. <laughs> so for the minute, it's all obviously just propped up by that bit there. Headlights are away because they're getting some special treatment from Dallas up at SS Customs in Queensland. Um, everything is loose, we haven't tightened anything up. Just mocking everything up, but for now, everything seems to line up pretty well. Obviously there's some, with every sort of aftermarket kit, there is a little bit of finessing to do at the body shop, which will get done when it gets painted, but all the panel gaps look to be pretty good. Everything lines up nicely, all the finish is good. They are ABS plastic. Uh, which is the same as the factory Raptor. Big ass grill. There is three hour end lights in there. I'm not quite sure if I'll connect them yet. More than likely not. And there is flares to go on outside this as well. Because that poke is going to get me in a lot of trouble very quickly. With the rears, we do have a little bit, but we'll, uh, we'll keep that on the down low. We should be able to get away with that. But yeah, let's, uh, let's keep smashing it out. So there comes a time when building cars that you have to start making things work. Now, a little bit of mechanical sympathy does, does help, but also no mechanical sympathy does help until it does damage. Let's get choppy choppy. So this inner guard is set up for a front bar that I'm not gonna run. So I want the maximum approach angle. So I'm just gonna trim all this out of the way that I don't need. So then I can still tuck it up nicely and all fits right. So let's get to uh, get the chopping. Figure out where the easiest place to start chopping is. Look at me, I'm modified. Good job, Mater. <laughs> 